Often dubbed Seward's Folly by opponents at the time, the 1867 sale of Alaska is still one of the most fascinating real estate deals in history. For $7.2 million, or roughly two cents per acre, the Russian Empire gave the United States control over this large and resources-rich region. In order to comprehend Russia's decision to cede this ostensibly rich area, we need to examine the geopolitical, economic, and strategic elements that shaped this momentous choice. This video will explain why did Russia give up Alaska. Historical Context Russia's quest for additional fur trade territories sparked its interest in North America in the 18th century. The Alaskan mainland was found by Russian explorer Vitus Bering in 1741, and this led to a substantial Russian presence in the area. The Russian-American company, which oversaw the colony, and Russian traders made significant profits from the booming fur trade, with sea otter pelts being especially valuable in China. Nonetheless, there were many difficulties because of Alaska's isolated and hostile climate. It was extremely tough to supply and manage such a remote area logistically. The colony was mostly dependent on supplies from Russia, which required sea transportation. These supply lines were expensive and prone to interruption. Economic Struggles The profitability of Alaska's fur trade had drastically decreased by the middle of the 19th century. The sea otter population, the backbone of the fur trade, was severely reduced as a result of overhunting. The dwindling otter population also reduced the previously profitable fur trade, which in turn reduced Russia's financial motivation to keep its base in Alaska. In addition, there was a perception of the Russian-American company, which controlled the fur trade, as being dishonest and incompetent. Due to the company's financial struggles and poor management, Russia's economic interests in the area were further undermined. Alaska lost appeal to the Russian government because of the high maintenance costs and diminishing benefits. The Crimean War Russia's decision to sell Alaska was significantly influenced by geopolitical considerations. Russia's strategic thinking was altered and its weaknesses exposed during the Crimean War, 1853-1856. The Ottoman Empire, France, Britain, and Sardinia fought together in this conflict, which made it clear that Russia needed to pool its resources and concentrate on its more pressing strategic objectives. Alaska's closeness to British possessions in Canada made it especially vulnerable to British naval strength, as Russia discovered during the conflict. It would be difficult and expensive to defend Alaska from British attacks in the case of another war. The Russian Empire realized it would be impossible to defend such a distant and poorly inhabited area, given its already enormous territory in several fronts. American interest. The idea of selling Alaska was not new. Tsar Nicholas of Warren had entertained the idea as early as the 1850s in an attempt to relieve Russia of its financial obligations. However, it was not until Tsar Alexander II's reign that the idea gained significant traction. The United States, led by Secretary of State William H. Seward, was eager to expand its territory and saw in Alaska an opportunity to strengthen American influence and establish a foothold in the Pacific, as well as to offset British influence in North America. Economic Implications for the United States Despite being mocked at first as Seward's Folly or Seward's Icebox, the acquisition of Alaska proved to be a strategic masterstroke for the United States. The discovery of gold in the late 19th century led to the Klondike Gold Rush, which brought wealth and settlers to the area. Additionally, Alaska's abundant natural resources, oil, gas, and minerals, have since made a significant contribution to the American economy. Finally, the territory's strategic location proved invaluable during World War II and the Cold War giving the United States a vital military outpost and enhancing its ability to project power in the Pacific and Arctic regions. The Russian Perspective From the Russian point of view, the selling of Alaska was a calculated move motivated by geopolitical, economic, and strategic factors. The decision to sell was influenced by the cost of upholding the colony, the declining profits from the fur trade, and the area's strategic vulnerability. In retrospect, the sale of Alaska is sometimes perceived as a setback for Russia, but it was also a purposeful attempt to fortify the empire's central objectives. Russia was able to concentrate on strengthening its position in Europe and Asia, where it faced more urgent possibilities and difficulties, 
by giving up control of a far-off and challenging to defend area. Selling Alaska, therefore, can be seen as a part of a larger strategy to streamline and strengthen the Russian Empire during a period of significant geopolitical flux. Additionally, the proceeds from the sale were utilized to invest in domestic infrastructure and modernization efforts, contributing to the empire's long-term development. Thank you for watching the video. If you found this video informative, you should subscribe to my channel so you do not miss any future ones.